Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. So in this video, we're going to talk about watchOS 8.6 update on my Apple Watch Series 3. So as you can see, this is my Apple Watch Series 3. I've been using this Apple Watch for a very long time. In just about a minute, we'll take the Apple Watch and we'll see what's new with this update. So as you can see from the screenshot, it came in about 279 MB on my Apple Watch Series 3. And this update is available for all the supported Apple Watch starting from Apple Watch Series 3 to Apple Watch Series 7. So we're going to talk about what's new with this update. Uh, possibly you might be knowing that Apple Watch Series 3 might not be supporting any of the new features but still let's have a look and let's talk about the update details and the build numbers and stuff like that. So without further wasting any time let's get started with the video but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. Now with that being said let's get right into the video. All right, guys, so the first things first, as you can see, this is the Apple Watch. Now, let me put my phone side and let me go to the settings and let me show you the new build number and update details. So if I could just go to the settings and then if I go to the general and about section, so as you can see, it says watchOS version is 8.6 and the new build number is 19T572. As you can see, these are the details. So before updating, this watch was running watchOS 8.5.1 and as I showed you the update size as well. Now I had taken a screenshot, let me see whether I can find that. As you can see from the screenshot itself, before updating it was on watchOS 8.5.1 and the build number was 19T252. And you know, from the screenshot itself, you can see that watchOS 8.6 include new features, improvements and bug fixes. And also the highlights of these features are, it supports the ECG app on Apple Watch Series 4, possibly if you are on Mexico region, and also it supports for irregular heart rhythm notifications in Mexico. So if you are someone watching from Mexico and using Apple Watch Series 4, or later then you would have this feature but then again there's nothing new for apple watch series 3 and let me also show you what are the battery details and how is it performing overall because it's been quite some time i have made videos on a uh, watch os uh, updates so i thought of just you know making this video and you know updating you guys how is my apple watch performing so if i go to the battery health and uh, try to see the battery performance let me go back and let me see if i can find the battery section yes so once i click on battery so as of now it is on 100 percent so if i go down and click on battery health so it is 99 percent so i generally regularly don't use my apple watch so but still it's a small battery and it takes less time to charge the apple watch and the battery life is okay all about you know just getting through a day it's what matters so possibly you know uh, it, it goes on for like two days max and then i have to again charge it at this point of time but this is the battery health and the you know battery percentage what is left as of now talking about watchOS 8.6 update there's nothing new especially you get with apple watch series 3 coming next month you would be able to see watchOS 9 update on all apple watches i'm we're not sure that Apple Watch Series 3 would be supported for watchOS 9 update but if it does definitely I'll make sure to make a video specifically on Apple Watch Series 3 and show you how the software watchOS 9 looks like on Apple Watch Series 3. This was a quick video I just wanted to let you know that I have received watchOS 8.6 update and watchOS 8.6 performance is really good there is no issue as you can see I'm just you know pressing the crown multiple times and you know it's just you know zoom in and zoom out are okay not very smooth but you know it gets the job done for most of the people i would say so then again and this was a video i wanted to talk about you know watch os 8.6 and how is it performing on my apple watch series 3 i hope you have enjoyed the video and let me know in the comment section whether you also are using an apple watch series 3 or something else and whether you have updated to watch os 8.6 or not so i would be reading all of your comments if you uh, you know drop a comment in the comment section below and also make sure you subscribe to the channel because many more watchOS update related contents are coming up in near future so then again i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you on my next video bye bye